This video will focus on the remote DDoS software, what it is, what it does, and how DDoS attack works. So the remote DDoS, or IDDoS for short, can be found on the Pentagon MPC. This is at 142.10.117.137. So what is a DDoS in Slave Hack 2? Well, a DDoS is an attack that you can perform on NPCs for missions or against other players. And you require three things to do that. Firstly, you need the remote to initiate an attack or launch an attack. Secondly, you need at least five slaves with installed viruses, DDoS viruses, and you need a target to hit. Once initiated, a DDoS attack takes a certain amount of time before you can actually launch it. And that time is determined not by the level of your remote or the level of your viruses or anything. It's uh, actually how many slaves you use. So you can have anywhere from 5 to 60 slaves in a DDoS attack. And without a boost to any of this, um, a DDoS attack will take 30 seconds per slave. The slave count is also the only factor that determines the damage of an attack. A DDoS attack will hit the target for CPU, network and hard drive damage. But there is a catch. Every NPC that you use within your attack leaves behind this little log letting everyone in the game know that you've launched this attack. On top of that, if you hit a player with a DDoS, you cannot reset your IP address for the next 40 minutes. So. Be very careful about when you attack, who you attack, and the repercussions that might come from that. Now, currently in the game, there are ways to get around that by not leaving logs. Um, and there's some info on that on the forums, on the Slave Hack 2 forums, which I will include in the link in the description.